Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today the question that we'll be solving is hotel booking possible. Uh, this question is a really good question, okay, because in this you can use like different concepts, okay, like your uh, comparator operator in sorting to solve it, okay. So we'll see all the approaches that I could like find for this question. So let's head on to the uh, problem statement. So a hotel manager has to process n advance bookings of rooms for the next season. His hotel has C rooms. Uh, booking contains an arrival date and a departure date. So we'll be like given an array of arrival date, uh, arrival dates, and an array of departure dates. He wants to find out whether there are enough rooms in the hotel to satisfy the demand. Okay. So what we are doing over here is we will be provided with an array, uh, array of arrival date and an array of departure date and we have to tell whether the hotel has enough rooms to uh, accommodate uh, k number of people that come or not okay so if we have enough rooms then we have to return true else we have to return false okay so let's first head on to seeing what actually this question is or what actually algorithms we must apply so over here we can see that we have the example of our array of arrival is equal to 1, 3 and 5 and our array of departure is equal to 2, 6, 8 and the maximum number of books uh, rooms that we have is equal to C that is R1. Now what we can do is over here we can see if a person arrives at 1 and leaves at 2 that means if another person is coming at 3 and leaving at 6 we can uh, like we need one room for this guy okay because he's coming from uh, at one first day and leaving on the second day then for the, uh, these people those are coming for the third day and leaving on the sixth day we actually uh, will be using this room only okay so uh, right now it is one okay but what we see is there are other another person okay or another uh, p, uh another person that is coming okay on fifth and is about to leave on eighth so we need one more extra room for them to hold or to stay, uh, arrange stay for them okay so uh, over here we have to return false why because our number of rooms that we required is greater than the number of rooms that we have so the answer is zero over here okay that means false now let's head on to uh, seeing how we will solve this particular question so there are different approaches for this question so first let's see the first approach that we have okay so our first approach is basically using the sort method okay so we'll be sorting doing some kind of sort okay with the help of our comparator operator okay so we'll be using that i will be explaining how exactly your comparator operator works okay so basically you write a function that is your compare okay you write it as bool and what you do is over here you get one argument and the other and then what you do is you reserve, uh, return according to the position now suppose if i have 7 3 2 okay so this is my first this is my second so this is my first this is my second now if i want to sort it in the order so that the minimum number that i have okay so the minimum number that i have should be in the starting so what i will do is i will return return f less than s okay so if my f is less than s then f will get returned or else what will happen this s will go at the position of f so what will happen this 3 will come over here okay got it so this is what we will be doing over there so now let's head on to the question so over here uh, just let me refresh it actually i have solved this one here. okay yeah so i actually took nine minutes and i failed okay so i failed two times because my solutions were not perfectly correct and the reason being there are few tricky test cases in this okay so i will be talking about those as well so what we will do is first we will uh, get a vector okay so first uh, we will store these things okay we'll store it as a pair okay so now suppose if someone is coming okay so if someone is arriving i will store it as their date comma a and if they are departuring then i will store it as their departure date comma d okay so let's do that first so um, okay done so i have created a pair in which i will be storing my integer that is my date and then i will be storing whether it's arrival or uh, it's departure okay so let's just write a for loop Okay, 
now uh, what we do is we push these values inside our vector that we have created okay so v dot push back my pair of arrive of i comma the character that i want for that so i want a for that so i am being push i am pushing that value now what i will do is i will similarly uh, push the uh, value for my departure as well okay depart and d over here now i have pushed these values inside my array now what i want to, to do is i want to sort my uh, values so i will use sort okay and then i will write uh, v dot begin comma v dot end okay so this is the basic sort that we do right but the catch over here is you see the second value that we have added okay so for arrival we have a and for departure we have d okay now see what i'm talking about or the test case that i was telling that we will uh, find difficult difficulty in solving so suppose if i have 1 2 2 4 and 7 8 okay so if i uh, add this inside my vector what will happen is after sorting one will be there okay one will be with a then i will have two with my d okay then i will have two with my a no sorry uh, i will have my two with my a and then i will have my two with my d okay because i am like sorting it in increasing order okay then i have my four with d seven with a and then eight with d okay so over here if we see we need we have two arrivals right that means we need two rooms but that's not the case okay why because on the same date a person is leaving okay so this d should come actually over here first okay and that is the reason why we will be using a comparator operator which will be helping us to sort it in our desired manner so what we are trying to do is if my first value is less than my second value that's correct i want that thing but what if my first value is equal to equal to my second value in that case what i want is i want my second value to get like the second value that is greater i want that to get returned first got it so now let's head on to the code part so over here i will be writing a compare function now i am comparing my uh, vector pairs right like my, my pairs so i will be actually giving this thing on top over there okay so i am just taking two values out of it right so this is my first value and this is my second value okay now what i do is if my a dot first is equal to equal to my b dot first okay if this is the case if this happens what i wanted to do uh, what i want this function to do is i want to return the value that the second value the per thing that has its second value greatest okay so second greater than b dot second done okay and else what i want to do, uh, want this function to do is in other cases i want the first value to be smaller then my second value that is my b dot first so done okay so this function our comparator function is done over here now what we can do is we can just come over here and now we will just use uh, a kind of cadence algorithm okay so uh, what we will do is we will maintain a current sum okay or current room that you can say equal to zero and then i will maintain my max room so max room required that will be equal to my int min okay I think I've just kept the minimum value over here. Now what I do is I iterate for the entire vector that I have. So I will write i less than v dot size and then I will do i plus uh, plus. Now what I will do is I will just check if my v of i dot first, no not first actually v dot i dot second second is equal to equal to arrival okay so in case of arrival what i will do is i will just increase my current room i will increase my current room's value and uh, in my max room what i will actually do is i will store my 
maximum value that I have till now. Okay, so that will be equal to uh, max of max of my max room comma my current room done okay so uh, this is what i want else what i want to do is else i will be just decreasing this value of current room right and in the end what i will do is return okay if my max room required is less than or equal to k in that case i have to return true right else i have to return false right so this statement will do that stuff for me so this is one of our approach or one of our solution that we can do so let's check whether it's uh, completely correct or not so i hope so like it will be correct mm. Yeah, it's correct. Okay. Now the thing is, uh, what we observed over here, we observed that we had to write this compare function. Reason being, we had these a and d, right? So what we can do is, we can actually uh, do this stuff without our compare function. So I will just remove my compare function. I will remove it from here as well. And what I will do is, I will do a smart trick. That is, I will change this character to int. Okay. And I will assign one for my arrival and minus one for my departure. Okay. And over here, I will just write if my a dot second is actually greater than zero. In that case, I will add it. Else, I will uh, I will just subtract it. So if I run this thing as well, this won't this will work. Okay. I will be explaining it uh, on the board as well. Don't worry. So uh, over here, okay. Let's get back to board. So again, taking the same example. So if I have my uh, negative number for departure and positive number for arrival. That means if I do the normal sort in that case, automatically this thing will come first and this, this thing will be at the back. So what will happen is I will have my 1, 2, 2, 4, 7, 8, but this time my 1 is the arrival. So I have, uh, okay, I will, just, I will use some different color. So over here is my arrival, right? So this will be 1. This 2 is my departure. So this will be minus 1. This 2 is my arrival. This 4 is my departure. This 7 is my arrival and this 8 is my departure. Got it. So now what will happen is if I have my C equal to one or you can say your K equal to one, that means I only like I only have one room with me. Okay. And if I just sum all these things, if I just sum up all these things, so it will be one minus one. So it's zero. One minus one, it's zero. One minus one, it's zero. Okay. So basically uh, my this sum is uh, actually less than K, right? So my answer is true. Let's see that. Okay. So that thing I haven't implemented over here. So we still have this thing. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll just take our current room, okay, and we will just keep adding the value of i dot second in this v of i dot second. Okay, so now value of v of i dot second is being added, and what I will do is I will just check if my current room is less than equal to k or not. Okay, some error is there. Mm, your function return the following one. So one twelve three eight four six. So there is okay, so it should return true. So if my current room is greater than equal to k. Okay, I am uh, doing something wrong over here. So that is okay. Let's solve this thing. Let's take this part 1, 2, 2, 3, and 3, 4. 1, 2, 2, 3, and 3, 4. 1, 2, 2, 3, and 3, 4. 1, 2, 4. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4. So plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. So this is 0, right? So it should be uh, true for this case. Your function returns the following. So no, that's wrong. Uh, okay, I change this condition in the end. So it should be like my current room if less than equal to k, then it's correct. Okay. Then let's check uh, check for the other test case that failed. So I guess it was one twelve. Yeah, three eight and four six. One twelve three eight four six. One twelve three eight four six. One twelve three eight. 
four, six. So one, three, four, six, eight, twelve. So this is my arrival. So one, this is my uh, one, this is my one. Okay, this is minus one, this is minus one. Oh, oh, really? Sorry, really sorry. What we have done over there is actually wrong. We shouldn't do this thing. The earlier version was correct. So every time it will be actually zero if I do like that. So I have to do this part. Okay, I have to uh, use this kind of algorithm, Cadmus algorithm kind of thing. Okay, because the reason being, uh, if I like continuously add in my current room, so it has to be zero actually. So over there, like I thought, like if we can just uh, continuously add the entire thing, then we uh, we will get the correct answer. But it's cool. Okay. So this is the approach that we can use for this question. And I hope you guys like this question, uh, like the solution for this question. And if so, so please uh, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel.